Hello, my name is Mohamed Aymer. Today, I will presenting an overview of Microsoft Dynamics Sure Step. We will cover implementation phases, activities, deliverables, and main documents. The ERP implementation phases are diagnostic phase, analysis phase, design phase, development phase, deployment phase, and operations phase. The diagnostic phase where all pre-sales activities are done. The customer listing their requirements and his business pain in a high level. And the customer identify a business case to be examined and the proof of concept. The pre-sales consultant offer a proof of concept based on the customer business case. In order to give an evidence, the ERP can, han can handle. It's important to identify the project scope, what are in scope and what are out of the scope. That helps in setting the customer expectations. Also, in the diagnostic phase, identify a high level project charter to know who are the project stakeholders and decision makers. Set the project plan for time and communication and what are project deliverables. That helps in setting customer expectations as well. The budgetary proposal is released and reviewed in the diagnostic phase. If it is accepted, move to project utilization and kickoff. The main deliverables of the diagnostic phase are high level requirements and process review, preliminary fed gap cheat, how far the application fitting the requirements of the customer, the proposal and statement of work. of the project. The analysis phase, the consultant get more deep into customer business process. The consultation team gather the customer business requirements in a very low level of detail, examining the as is business processes and the 2P business processes. The requirements gathering sessions are held with each business process owner discussing business processes, scenarios, cases and identify the actors and responsibility to perform this processes. This gives insights to consultant to uh, to know the required roles and security models will be implemented on the system. After listing business processes and requirements, we have a clear picture what will be fit on a standard system functionality and what are gaps need to be bridged. If the gaps solution is customization, the consultant prepares the customization requ uh, requirements to analyze the purpose of the customization and what is the business rationale behind it. We will move to data analysis. The consultant analyzing the customer data requirements this mainly represent the reporting requirements and needs. In the data migration requirements, identify what are the master data will be migrated from legacy system and what are mapping requirements, the migration approach of the opening balances and what are mapping requirements as well, 
in addition to the required data cleansing and conversions the integration requirements consist of two parts internal integration between modules and submodules and other integration is external integration with other application identify the integration points and integration flow then prepare the hardware and the infrastructure requirements based on the business process requirements which shows us the expected number of users the organization structures and the locations that uh, will be the main areas and uh, to perform the uh, transaction and finally getting the analysis sign off the deliverables of analysis phase is project uh, final project charter functional requirements document we will talk about uh, documents up, uh, in this session business process map it's very important to draw all business processes in a flow chart from the high level in a very low level of detail and the final fit gap analysis sheet we are identifying which requirement is uh, is fitting into application functionality and what are gaps and how we will handle uh, this ga gap as a solution in the design phase we will talk about master data master data which is based on the data requirements analysis in the previous phase here we will const uh, construct the master data where we, uh, we identify the structure of chart accounts customer groups vendor groups for example what are elements of customer uh, information and vendor information bank information designing the opening balances upload mechanism and keeping in mind the uh, GL accounts and submodules integrity and agree on uh, coding structure of the master data plan for the data migration and agree on the sequence of the master data upload and opening balances upload plan for external integration how the integration requirements will be fulfilled we will move to technical design the architecture design is a very important task since the architecture uh, design is ensuring the application high availability the disaster recovery and that the application was will be a reliable application for the company the customization design is a cooperation between application consultant technical consultant as in business process owner they put the customization requirements into screen forms tables business logic and it is and its interface with the standard application identify the integration points whether it's internal or external integration and how these integrations will be affected the uh, affect the the business process flow the develop deliverables of design phase is solution design document the functional design document and uh, which consists of the fu functional design document and technical design document business process uh, testing scenarios that will be used in the next phase and the 
final deployment to plan. The development phase. Now it's time to ex the execution. Configuring the application according to the design, which will, uh, which is the output of the previous uh, phase, and start uh, developing the customized solution and modification, executing the security models, and uh, prepare for the training sessions for uh, key users and end users and performing the, the testing for uh, integration internal integration and external integration as unit tests and test the customization from functional point of view and technical point of view to fixing bugs and errors and make the pilot and conduct the pilot test the full cycle test from end to end the output of uh, development phase is final system configuration training guidance which contains some modifications uh, in business processes for uh, some uh, roles and user acceptance uh, test scenarios that will be used in the deployment phase and final solution design document it's very important document in the deployment phase conduct the user acceptance test workshops uh, each process owner uh, testing each transaction and each business scenario and uh, the exceptions which was covered in the analysis and design phases uh, in most of the cases uh, we will not cover all the cases uh, when we go live after we go live uh, we have to expect uh, some uh, business exceptions uh, need to to be uh, revisited and redesigned uh, redesigned for to to have some modifications in the business processes and move to the up uploading the master data to the system and the opening balances upload the opening balance upload uh, it's not a complicated task uh, it needs some uh, of coordination between the controllership and uh, financial consultant in order to ensure the integrity between sub modules and uh, GL as I uh, mentioned before the training train the trainer or uh, we can call them the power user or uh, a, uh, key users and training the end users on the new processes and the new system functions now everything is there the master data are uploaded the opening balances are uploaded the users are trained now it's time to go live it's cut over to production the deliverables of the deployment phase is uh, user acceptance test results the go live checklist final uh, master data migration and opening balances results the operation phase now the project is done finalizing the project plan check if there is something missing missing or not and prepare the project closeout report and get the sign off post the post go live support we have to uh, make some operation uh, inspections as i just mentioned uh, there are some some cases uh, or some exception uh, cases need to be handled so we have to uh, review our design uh, is it uh, really works on the real life uh, then move to the 
knowledge transfer transferring the knowledge from the consultant to the customer and the support and shadowing activities on the daily basis till the till closing the first month some projects are go to the SLA service level agreement for a support plan with the partner and the partner submit a support proposal if it uh, accepted utilize and take off the SLA support uh, project for utilization and take off the deli main deliverables of uh, operation phase project uh, closure report and project uh, deliverables now we move to the main documents we have functional requirements document the FRD which released after the analysis phase with the fit gap spreadsheet where we identify what processes are fitting the application uh, standard functionality and what are gaps if the requirements are fitting to the application functionality uh, it will go uh, to the config, uh, configuration and prepare functional design document for configuration and it need the customization we have to uh, release functional design document for customization and the technical consultant uh, release technical design document it's very important document we are documenting all modifications uh, on the system forms and tables and relations uh, it's very important especially if we are going uh, to generate report reports from the system and uh, the PI and the another stage and finally we combine the uh, functional design document for configuration and customization in the solution design document the gaps uh, may be uh, uh, bridged by uh, customization mm, uh, small modifications on the system or work around or uh, changing in the business process or business uh, process re-engineering now you can see the full documents are used in the ERP implementation projects thank you stay connected with me I hope you enjoyed the presentation thank you